good morning everyone so in today's class we are going to start a new chapter and in this chapter today we are going to talk about edge connectivity so we begin with the concept of the connectivity so sometimes when we send an email then we may get a message that the mail has not been delivered and in that case the mail server tries to reroute the mail if it is possible it means that this problem can be mapped using graph theory while introducing the concept of connectivity so if the system is very well connected then of course there is a possibility to reroute the mail and in that case how do we measure connectivity so consider the following example you can see here the connectivity in the increasing order because the first graph has cut vertex as well as cut edge the second graph has a cut vertex but it does not have a cut edge the third graph does not have a cut vertex and cut edge but the fourth graph is a complete graph and therefore you can see we have the connectivity in the increasing order now to proceed further we need to measure the connectivity on the basis of two parameters one is on the basis of vertices that means the vertex connectivity which we are going to denote by kappa g where g is the graph and in terms of the edge connectivity which is denoted as kappa dash g to introduce the concept of edge connectivity first we will start with edge cuts so we have already discussed cut edge which means a bridge which means an edge whose deletion disconnects the graph now edge cut is a set of the edges so an edge cut which is denoted by s is the set of the edges which is a subset of the given graph such that g minus s so when you delete all the edges of s from g this is what g minus s is it is disconnected but at the same time there should not exist a smaller set than s whose deletion disconnect the graph it means s should be minimal edge cut and it makes sense for example if i draw this graph 1 2 3 4 yes in that case edge cut is simply 3 4 now i know that when i delete 3 4 then the graph becomes disconnected it means that if i delete 3 4 and 1 2 then also the graph remains disconnected but it does not make any sense because already 3 4 is disconnecting the graph and in that case i should not consider 3 4 along with 1 2 as an edge cut so it means that an edge cut is a minimal set of edges that disconnects a connected graph and if s is an edge cut then g minus s has exactly two components very interesting exercise i suggest you to spend some time over this exercise it suggests to find all the edge cut of this given graph i can give you a hint that the number is two digit because initially if you try you may end up with 5 6 or 8 edge cuts once you try it then you can look at the answer and you would be surprised to see that the number is seven edge cuts are of size 2 and then there are six edge cuts of size 3 total 13 edge cuts are there let's move to a result which says that let g be a connected graph for a set s which is a subset of the edge set the following are equivalent so whenever this kind of the question comes we have to show two or three statement statements are equivalent so we start with 1 implies 2 2 implies 3 3 implies 4 and we come back to 4 implies 1 in this case only two statements are there so we prove that 1 implies 2 and 2 implies 1 it means that 
we start with g minus s is disconnected and we have to show that every spanning tree of g has an edge in s we'll try to prove it by contradiction it means let's t be a spanning tree <coughs> which has no edge in s what does it mean if t is a spanning tree and it has no edge in s it means that the edge set of t and its intersection with s should be phi so we are starting with the contradiction and to prove we should reach to the contradiction it means we should reach to the result that g minus s is connected now think why or if s intersection e of t is equal to phi then why g minus s would be connected so now t is a spanning tree of the graph g and it has no edges in common with s it means that all the edges of this spanning tree t should belong to g minus s so this e of t should be the subset of g minus s or you can say that t is a spanning tree of g minus s and now t is a spanning tree it means that it is connected and it is passing through all the vertices so if a graph has a spanning tree it means that it must be connected so it means g minus s is connected which is a contradiction okay now similarly we have to show that 2 implies 1 and to show that 2 implies 1 again try to use the concept of contradiction it's quite easy even it's more straightforward than the first one so now i have to assume every spanning tree of g has an edge in s and then i have to show g minus s is disconnected so let's assume that g minus s is connected yes now i have to reach to the contradiction now whenever a graph is connected it must have a spanning tree so it means g minus s has a spanning tree t now in g minus s how we obtain g minus s so we deleted some edges from g but we have not deleted any vertex it means the vertex set of g minus s is same as the vertex set of g which means that t is a spanning tree of g as well because t is a spanning tree of g minus s and to obtain g you have added some extra edges to g minus s that gives you g so if t is a spanning tree in g minus s then all the edges must be present in g as well along with all the vertices and this is why t is a spanning tree of g as well now think how we reach to the contradiction the given statement is every spanning tree has an edge in s but we found a spanning tree t which has no edge in s because this t is also a spanning tree of g minus s yes so this takes us to a contradiction so let's move further and introduce the concept of edge connectivity k edge connected so a connected graph is k edge connected if it remains connected whenever lesser than k edges are removed so if i say a graph is five edge connected it means if i delete any four edges then it should remain connected let's consider an example so if you see this example what does it mean one edge connected so every connected graph is one edge connected which means if you delete zero edges it remains connected which is true for a connected graph 
so this is one edge connected is it two edge connected so for a two edge connected there must exist an edge if there exists an edge whose deletion disconnect the graph it means if there exists an bridge then the graph is not two edge connected this graph does not have a bridge or cut edge and therefore it is yes two edge connected three edge connected does there exist a pair of edges whose deletion disconnect the graph yes if you delete e5 and e7 then the graph becomes disconnected it means this is not three edge connected because there exists less than three edges whose deletion disconnects the graph so graph is not three edge connected So once we introduce the K edge connected, next is edge connectivity, which is denoted as kappa dash G, which is the largest K for which the graph is K edge connected. See this example, largest K. So for this example, you found that it is one edge connected. If you go to the next last slide, it is one edge connected. It is two edge connected, but it is not three edge connected. It means the largest K is two for which it is K edge connected. And therefore I can say that kappa dash G for this graph is equal to two. Consider the following graph and we are interested to find out its edge connectivity. So find kappa dash G for this graph. Before that, we should try to address the following question. Is it one edge connected? Yes, because it's connected. Please try to solve all the question by yourself. Is it two edge connected? Yes, because it does not have a cut edge or bridge. Is it three edge connected? Yes, because there does not exist a pair of edges whose deletion disconnect the graph. Is it four edge connected? No. Because if you delete these three edges, then the graph becomes disconnected. It means kappa dash G is equal to 3. So if I have to categorize what are one edge connected graphs, so all connected graphs are one edge connected. What is the edge connectivity of complete graph KN? Think over it. Draw any complete graph. Let's say draw K4. So each vertex has degree 3. In Kn each vertex has degree n minus 1. I have to delete all those n minus 1 edges which are incidenting to a vertex. Then only the graph becomes disconnected. It means edge connectivity of Kn is n minus 1. So few quick remarks. For any disconnected graph the edge connectivity is 0. If it has a bridge, then edge connectivity is 1 and the edge connectivity is same if we have the graph with loops or without loops. So that's all from today's class. In the next class, we will introduce the concept of vertex connectivity.